Welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric. And uh, on today, I'm going to show you how I do salmon croquette. And uh, this, I'm doing salmon croquette for one of the subscribers. Her name is Shamika Green. So Shamika Green, you asked that I do salmon croquette, so I'm getting ready to show you how I do it. So, you know, people, we know that pink salmon is real expensive, especially Pillar Rock. So a lot of times, people will use macro or a generic brand of pink salmon. People say, oh, it doesn't taste the same. It does taste the same to me. This is an Aldi can of pink salmon. I think, and I'm talking to you, Shamika. I think, Shamika, I got this uh, for like a dollar and 29 cents. I'm just going to do one can. So all you do, the first thing you do, Shamika, is you drain the water off of it. As you can see, you do not want the water in there. And then you have to look through it. And you want to take, and as you can see, Shamika, you see this? You want to take all the, the, all like the grizzle, the bone. Some people leave it in there. I don't. I don't like it. You know, you, now you might have some of it, but see, as you can see, the grizzle from the uh, salmon. And you try to take as much of it out as you can. Okay. So once you take the the gristles out, all we're gonna do, all I have is a little chopped uh, onions and green pepper. We're gonna add that. We're gonna add this is a tablespoon of flour. We're gonna add that. We have one egg. We're gonna add that. And then I'm gonna add a little garlic powder. And you and Shamika, you can add whatever you want, and I'm going to add a little Old Bay seasoning. Cause remember, the salmon is already uh, salty, so you don't want to add too much. So and then I just take a fork, the reason why you add the flour and the egg is that is the binding. Those are, are the binding agents that will. Help keep it bind, you know, but bind it. So and that's all you do, you now. Once you get this mixed up real good, turn my skip it up. Once you get it mixed up real good, it's gonna be kind of stiff. Cause you don't want it real wet. You want to look because you want to be able to make a patty out of it. You see, Chimika? I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Okay, then you come over here. Now, I got my skillet heating, and Chimika, right here is cornmeal. And all I did was add a little seasoning to the cornmeal. I had the same seasoning that I used for the inside of the salmon. I added a little to the cornmeal. All it is is cornmeal. And then we wash my hands. Listen, Shamika. I want to thank you for subscribing and, and, and your support. And I want you to continue to view, like, share. The more you all view the videos, the more you share them, the more the numbers go up. Please continue to tell your family and friends to subscribe, to like, and share the videos. And I, I wanted to make this a little personal because you have been a supporter since you came on, and I really appreciate it. And that's why I'm doing. And the funny thing, Shamika. We just had salmon croquettes last week. So, I'm going to redo this just for you. And all you do is take it. And, it, and see, it sticks together already. And what I do, I just cover it a little in the cornmeal. And as you see, you put it in the oil. And it depends on how, how um, 
thick you want them or how large you want them. You can make them whatever size you want. I might be able to get about four or five. I should be able to get about five out of here, out of this one can. And like I said, you, you do not, uh, Pillow Rock, uh, Pink Salmon is almost like, almost close to $4 for one can. You do not have to go back no Pillow Rock to get the taste. It's all what you put in the seasoning. It's all how you season it. This is our last one. And then we're going to let those cook uh, maybe for about three minutes on each side. I like them crispy. I'm going to clean up my mess. And look, anyone out there, any if, if anything you want me to to make, um, if I don't know how to make it, I can figure it out. I can watch other videos on how to make it. Then I always uh, tweak things to my own uh, liking. You know, um, but please feel free to ask. Please feel free to leave comments. You know, the, your comments help me to make the channel a lot better. The more you comment and give me your input. You know, it's okay to give me your uh, constructive criticism, not negative, but constructive criticism, to give me constructive criticism, but, you know, and I take everything to what, what people say into consideration, but if you want me to make something, you want to learn how to make, just drop me a, drop me a comment, say, hey, Eric, can you make this, can you make that? And like I say, I can make it just about anything, and what I don't know how to make, I can find out. I don't know why I'm washing dishes in the midst of a video. It's just for habit for me. So, as you can see over here, here they're fried. And, and, and this uh, might have been a little bit, you know, I, sometimes, you know, you don't have to use this much oil that I'm using. Um, so, um, continue to support, and listen, Shamika, I'm talking to you again, and all my viewers and subscribers, don't forget the Thanksgiving uh, holiday feast that I'm going to be providing for five families, up to 20 people. So, you know, if, if you have not subscribed, or your family members, or cousins, uncles, aunts, friends have not subscribed, Tell them to go to Simple Cooking with Eric on YouTube. Sign up for YouTube and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so, because once you become a subscriber, every time you hit the when you hit the bell, you will be notified every time that I put up a new video. I don't got a little tongue twisted now. Okay, so now I'm going to turn these over. Look at nice and golden brown they are. And they're not too thin, they're not they not too thick, but and I'm telling you, you can have salmon croquettes for, for breakfast, for dinner, lunch. A lot of people have them for breakfast with eggs and rice and biscuits. So um you can have them with anything you like. Have y'all noticed that those grandkids are asleep? Especially that, that two-year-old, she is not in this video. She is not crying or hollering. So I was trying to do this quick one so before she wakes up. You know, so, and I'm gonna try to do one more. I'm gonna try to do a chocolate chip, a quick chocolate chip cookie one before she wakes up. So a lot of times you see, you all see me uh, with the same attire. I try to do two or three a day when I do them, when I get the opportunity to do them. So. You know, I'm going to try to do a chocolate chip cookie one as soon as I finish this video. But I wanted to just uh, make sure that I did this video for Shamika. Uh, 
because she's been such a, a, a big supporter. And then to my BFF, uh, Talisha Dudley, also is a big supporter. I'm going to send you a shout out too, since you, you know, don't like Simon Crowcast. I don't know if you like him or not, but just come on back and um, you can uh, taste them. So back over here, you see, they're frying them really good. And sometimes what I would do, um, I would I would fry them again, turn them over on the other side once again. But as you can see, they they firm. You know, and see that one is not quite as the way I like it. So you just go in and take it. They don't take long. It's it's so simple on how to make them. Simple and easy. As you all can see. And listen, that one can made five, and they and they are a nice size. They're not real, they're not thin at all. They, Cause I don't like them thin. I don't like them real thin and hard. I like them crispy on the outside, but I don't like them thin. I like them a little meaty. And I'm a, I'm a, when I take take them out, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna cut, cut it open so you all can see the inside of them. We get ready to take them out. I'm gonna give them one more flip on this side. Turn them over one more time. And let me say this to some of you all. If you if you think that you want to just really really start cooking, you know it, it's um. Invest in, invest in some, it ain't got to be all expensive cooking equipment, but invest in some things that want to make things a lot easier for you to do. If you, if this is something that you really want to get, all you young ladies that are about to get married, thinking about marriage, thinking about raising families, have families, single people, single men, I mean, you know, everyone can uh, cook. And it, I'm telling you, it's so much cheaper to prepare your own meal. So this meal, so what we're gonna have with this is some rice and some corn. So, and every all the products we bought at, at Aldi. So the corn was um, 89 cent a bag, I think. The rice, the instant rice was like 2.29 a box. And then the can of time was like 1.29, come on. So for $6, we got a whole meal where, uh, Three people can eat off this meal for six dollars. So that, that's what you want to, you know, start paying attention to. And then we're gonna I transfer them over to some paper towel so they can drain. See how nice they are. So, as you can see, see the inside of it, see how fluffy they are, they nice and fluffy, look at that.
Sorry about that, the video, the camera cut off for me. So, uh, like I said, you can see how nice and crispy. And they're very tasty. Thank you all for watching. Remember to view, like, share, and most of all, subscribe if you have not. And Shamika Green, I want you to know this is made for you. God bless you all and peace out.